Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how you can fix the issue of how to allow battle.net permission error code issue. So in this video, I'm going to show you various methods in which you can fix this issue. So the first method is just simply go and check whether your windows drivers are all up to date or not. So for doing that, just simply right click on your start menu, then go to settings. And then over there, you will find windows update. Click on that and then just simply click on check for updates. then just simply wait for the updates to pop up so as you can see there is an update so just simply download it and install it and after that just simply restart your computer and check whether your issue is fixed or not now the next method is just simply run your battle.net with administrative privileges so for doing that just simply close your battle.net then open your task manager just by hitting ctr shift plus cape now over here just simply search for battle.net as you can see it is over here so just simply end that task and after doing that right click on your battle.net shortcut then go to properties now from there go to compatibility click on change settings for all users now over here just simply click on run this program as administrator disable full screen optimization and run this program in compatibility mode then enable the option then click on the dropbox and choose whichever the window is most latest over here for me it's windows 8 so i will just simply choose windows 8 it might be windows 11 for you or 10 so just simply choose the latest version then after doing that just simply click apply okay then again okay and after that just simply launch the game and see whether you are facing the issue or not now the next method is allow the game to have access through firewall so for doing that just simply hit your windows key then type in firewall then open windows defender firewall then click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall then click on change settings and see whether you have your particular game in this list or not it might be call of duty or overwatch it's all the same so just simply check it so as you can see overwatch isn't in the list nor modern warfare so next what you have to do is just simply click on allow another app now click on browse now go to the location where your game is saved then just simply double click on launcher then again click on add and when the launcher is added just simply check both the boxes private and public and after doing that again click on allow another app then again go to browse now go to retail now add this overwatch as well double click on it then click on add so as you can see it is already in the list so i don't have to add it again so i will just simply click ok and cancel Now as you can see it is over here so again just simply click for private and public and after doing that just simply hit ok and close the window now after that just simply go to a window security so for doing that again right click on your start icon then click on settings then just simply go to privacy and security over there go to window security then click on virus and threat protection and click on manage settings for virus and threat protection again and turn off your antivirus if you're using any third party antivirus you can also disable that and try to launch the game and check and check that are you still facing an issue or not so the next method is just simply open your game it might be warzone or overwatch doesn't matter just simply click on the settings icon or options icon over here then click on scan and repair then click on begin scan now if there is any problem with the files or any settings regarding their files it will fix it and after the scanning is complete just simply launch the game and check are you still facing the issue or not so just simply wait for the scanning to complete and after it is done just simply launch the game now after that if you're still facing the issue the next thing that you can do is clear the cache for battle.net so for doing that just simply again close the battle.net so just simply go to task manager
then click on battle.net and click on end task and after that just simply close this window now hit window plus r on your keyboard and type in percentage local app data percentage just simply type this and hit ok now over here you have to delete two folders which is battle.net and blizzard entertainment so if you have these folders just simply delete it now after that just simply close this window and again hit window plus r on your keyboard and now this time type in percentage temp percentage then again hit ok and now over here delete everything that is possible and click on continue over here and the files which are unable to delete just simply do this for all current items then again click on try again once and if it is not deleting just simply again check the box and click on skip after that again just simply close the window now after that again hit window plus r on your keyboard and this time search percentage program data percentage then again hit ok and now over here again if you find battle.net or blizzards entertainment just simply delete them as well and after doing that just simply launch your game and check whether you have the issue or not now after that if you're still having the issue the next thing that you can do is just simply delete few data files from your game so for doing that open your game whichever game may it be then go to settings option over here then click on show in explorer and then over here what you have to do is just simply delete everything except data so just simply do that just simply leave the data file and delete everything then after doing that go inside the data folder then go inside the other folder as well now again delete everything except data now again go inside data folder now over here just simply delete all the files with the ixd type so just simply delete all of them now delete all the file which is less than one megabyte so if you have any file like that just simply delete all of them and after doing that you will see that a update button has appeared so just simply hit on update and wait for the updating to complete and after that just simply launch the game and see if it is working or not and after the update if you are still facing the issue the next thing that you can do is just simply open your control panel and uninstall your battle.net and reinstall it again and then see whether you are facing the issue or not just simply uninstall the battle.net and reinstall it and the last thing that you can do is just simply uninstall the game and reinstall it again so that's it and thank you for watching and do like and subscribe to my channel and take care